that the mayor of Glendale is uh, complaining that you, I, you, by you, I mean the NHL, wasn't interested in dropping its asking price for the Coyotes. I believe the number was 170 million. I was just wondering if, in fact, you would be willing to do that for someone who's willing to keep the team there. And the other two parts with the New Jersey ownership, if you just clarify, um, I thought. I thought we were going to do this one. Oh, okay. See, that's the problem. You get to be our age, you forget what you say. So, the first question on, on Arizona, uh, there's no reason to, to have that discussion, and, and the mayor is not really well informed on the status of transactions. The fact of the matter is, uh, with all the groups we've been talking to, we've never had an issue on the price. There were other issues relative to potential ownership, so I'm not concerned that that's an issue. Uh, there was another report that I saw coming out of, out of Arizona suggesting certain councilors of the mayors felt one way about things, which I knew for a fact was 180 degrees the other. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we need to get to a public discussion <coughs> over the terms of the sale of the Phoenix Coyotes. If we've got a buyer who's ready, willing, and able, I'm not concerned that we're going to be able to get the transaction done. Gary? Uh, the situation in Phoenix has been going on for quite a while. Why is it taking so long? And uh, this time, how, how, how optimistic are you to finally have a deal in place there? Well, the, we, we don't like moving franchises. Uh, it's taken a long time, A, because it's fairly complicated, and B, because a lot of damage was done uh, in the process where we had to assume control of the club. But, uh, you know, at some point, we may have to conclude it's not solvable, but we're not at that point yet. <clears throat> Mr. Bettman, you said that there was no timetable about the Phoenix situation, but uh, is it true that if uh, it's after the month of April, it will be harder because of scheduling issues? So there's somehow, there's, there, there's a timetable to settle that, that case, right? Well, I understand that in some places there's an anxiety to have us move faster. Uh, but if you look at the timetable we used last year moving to Winnipeg, it was fairly seamless and it wasn't on the timetable that you just laid out. <laughs> 